Hey, what's going on guys and gals? Welcome back to you to get another bad business video. When in today's bad business video, ladies and gentlemen, I'm doing a leaks video because we haven't had this much about leaks in quite a bit of time. Like it's been a really long time. So um, yeah, that's what today's video is going to be about. We're going to talk about the leaks and whatnot. So I'm gonna have gameplay in the background, most likely you guys can go ahead and watch that gameplay as I flash some images and stuff of what I'm talking about on the screen and stuff like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over some of these leaks. All right, let's go ahead. So the first thing I want to talk about is the new performance map that is coming out here and it's going to be tested later this month. Uh, we do not know the name of the map yet, but as you can see here on your screen, this is kind of what it looks like now i'm gonna be honest with you guys okay this map at least just from looking at this picture it's giving me major like estate vibes like i don't know if you guys know the map estate from call of duty it's like an og map it just recently came back out again from uh you know mw3 but if you guys don't know estate like that's kind of what it's giving me it's just because of this one room with these large windows like that's literally the kind of vibes it's giving me right now. It looks pretty dope. And if that's what it's inspired off of, uh, that's pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of excited for it. I think this map's going to be great. So yeah, definitely looking forward to this map. We don't know what it's going to be called yet, but definitely looking forward to that. Now, another thing that we're going to be taking a look at today is the new, at least first look at the Scar Hammer revamp all right this is going to be the next revamp that we're going to be getting in the next update which by the time you're watching this video the update should be and i say should be in quotations because you know we don't know what's going to happen stuff like that updates have been getting delayed so we don't know if it's coming out yet but the update should be coming out tomorrow because this video is going up on wednesday so this right here is what you're looking at we're looking at the hammer revamp okay this looks pretty cool this looks pretty awesome all right i'm not gonna lie this looks really Really, really cool i'm just very interested to see how much different they're going to make this you know than the um than the actual scar revamp that they did like what kind of attachments are we going to get on this thing what, what's the difference going to be uh i don't know I'm, I'm very interested to see what they do with this i don't think it's going to be that exciting of a revamp i'm going to be honest because like what can you do that you haven't done on the scar um, but I don't know. I think it will be pretty interesting to look at because the Scar Hammer is a pretty unique uh, LMG in the game, and I really do enjoy the Scar Hammer overall. So I am looking forward to this update 100%. Now, the biggest thing about this update, in my opinion, is this next thing that we're going to be talking about, okay? Now, this is a pretty big deal, okay? This is a very big deal, actually. So, in addition to the revamp, they are also introducing a Riot Shield nerf. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you heard me correct. A Riot Shield nerf. How long have I been preaching for this? I've been waiting for this day to come. I am so happy. I'm so happy. So, so, so happy. <laughs> I keep saying it, but it's true, man. I'm so happy. So this is what they're doing. So they're going to introduce a Riot Shield nerf that accounts for piercing and piercing damage, okay? Uh, and I'll play a clip on screen as you guys can see. This is what it will look like. You have piercing on here and then you don't have piercing and stuff like, you, you guys can clearly see what it's going to be doing. Uh, basically what it means is if you have the piercing uh, perk on, you're going to be able to do damage through the shield, thankfully. So snipers, oh my God, my sniper mains out there, guys. Guys, we're saved. Riot shields, no longer a problem for us because we already have piercing by default. So I kind of wonder what's going to happen if we don't run the piercing uh, perk because that's going to be interesting. I feel like we might still have to run the piercing perk, maybe to one shot them fully, at least with the one shot body snipers. Like if I'm using a DSR and, uh, you know, I don't have the piercing stat on 
or the piercing perk on, maybe I won't be able to one-shot them. What I'm wondering is if you have a sniper that already has piercing. Let's just take the DSR for an example, because I think this will be an easier comparison. If it already has piercing on the gun, am I still going to be able to one-shot through it because it's a one-shot torso sniper, or would I have to include piercing perk in my setup in order to one-shot through riot shields? That's like the only thing I'm wondering about when it comes to this, because that is something that's like, it's a pretty big deal to know whether or not you're going to have that option, but it's just also something that like I think should be available but you know that's because I'm biased and I just want my snipers to to be good that's that's literally it so whether they do it or not completely up to them not up to me it is what it is next up we have this leak that uh Popstar put in and it's like it's showing some tracers um I'm not too sure exactly what it means like I'm, I'm assuming it's for a legendary and he's just trying to show off the um the tracers that come with it i mean the tracers look pretty awesome and what a great map to showcase it on too because it's all black and white so the tracers just pop in color i don't know i really like this map i feel like this map got a lot of unnecessary hate because it was like oh it's just lazy it's just black and white dude it's dope it's a dope concept don't care what anyone says and last but not least at least in terms of the leaks today is this right here we have this before and after picture that we can go ahead and take a look at but they also made an adjustment to the leaning so that way the head glitches are hopefully less problematic and you guys can see from these images you can see the before and then you can see the after so you can see the head now which is pretty freaking awesome because this to me i mean like the whole leaning thing like i never really saw much of a point into using it that much like don't get me wrong like there's definitely a point to using it, but uh, there's not really much of like a gain you can get out of it, I guess, other than this situation here. But other than that, I mean, boom, there you go. I mean, I kind of said that wrong, though, because you definitely do gain a lot when it comes to leaning, I guess, because that's why a lot of uh, pro players use it. Like leaning is pretty important, but I just don't really use it because I snipe. I don't I don't really care about leaning that much, but that's just me. But yeah, I guess this definitely helps. A lot of quality of life changes are happening in this update, and that makes me like super happy because the last time we had like a really big quality of life change or just update log i really really enjoyed it it was like one of the best updates that they did and honestly what i'm looking forward to the most is going to be like the whole ui changes that they're going to implement when those come out dude oh my the game's going to feel so fresh it's going to be crazy i'm so excited dude but yeah i mean that's all we got for leaks right now um there's not really much going on in terms of bad business other than these leaks uh i don't really have anything else i could really talk about other than uh this week was your last week in order to get the halloween stuff so if you guys didn't get any halloween stuff and you're seeing this video you have one last day get on and grind or go and buy some cr and get yourself some halloween items but yeah anyways guys and gals i hope you all did enjoy and if you all did please be sure to smack a like on it let me know you all do enjoy i want to see some more bad business content of course if you guys missed my last upload that i did here on the channel i uploaded call of duty modern warfare 3 gameplay so if you guys want to watch that go ahead and do so but um yeah thank you all so much for watching and i will talk to all you beautiful beautiful people on the next one it's been wild peace